What is up, YouTube? Um, yeah, Jayboard here. I've been having some questions over the frequencies regarding footsteps. Um, pretty much the, the in-game cues that we need to gather enough information to whoop somebody instead of them whooping us. Believe me, I get it. So, if you guys have Dolby Atmos, um, it's a great application. It's especially if the only application you have, better than nothing. So, as you can see, this uh, Custom 3 is really going to focus on footsteps. You can tell that because we've got low frequency and high frequency for the footsteps dialed all the way up. So, the one thing that I would argue here is that they, they didn't give enough to play with in terms of the actual frequencies themselves. Because you're going to go roughly from 100 to 300, 350 hertz. Um, that's going to be what you want to play with for a, I guess, low, low bass footstep range. Now, however, on the high end, like uh, think of tweeters in a car or in a speaker, um, these are those frequencies, these higher end frequencies. 4K to 8K is going to be these in-game cues that are associated with um, gunfire, the the kind of from a sniper, the um, kind of throwing knife, the, the tings and explosions. Okay, that's that's further up here. These cues are not just isolated to, I guess, gunfire or explosions, anything of the, of the like. It is also footsteps, and this is something that. Not a whole lot of people I've spoken to tend to understand. So that's why what I'm about to say here is crucial. Your in-game settings have to reflect what you see on screen here. This EQ only works if your in-game settings, like, um, I can't remember right, right off what it is, but you have profiles like uh, low-end boost, high boost, boost, midnight and all this other crap um, if you have low end boost you're going to want to dial this end back a little bit for both 125 and 250 hertz and these pretty much as high as you can go without overpowering these low end frequencies to where you can still hear a well-rounded um, pop, 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 footsteps right you don't want to be losing people whenever those most crucial moments are kind of winding down, you're in the last circles, um, whatever game you're playing. Personally, I play Warzone, like I said, so we're gonna continue kind of on that basis. Uh, the other sound profile in game setting I would recommend you use is high boost. So how this is gonna reflect is since you already have high boost in game, you don't need it so much on this EQ. You're gonna dial back to 4K, the 8K, and send up 125 and 250 hertz as much as you can. Reason being is because nothing changed except that in-game profile, right? If you change and flip an in-game profile, you need to do the same with this EQ. But just a little bit more in depth on the EQ itself and kind of so you guys can have an idea of what these frequencies are gonna be highlighting in terms of the cues you get in game. So 32 hertz and 64 hertz are not the most crucial here. They're more atmospheric. They kind of okay. How would I how would I phrase this? Think of 32 hertz and 64 hertz as sort of like a spice to a main course. This is this is la the lasagna for supper. Okay, 125 hertz to 16k, or really just 8k. That's the lasagna. Okay, this, this is some salt, okay? It's, it's still gonna improve the overall profile and texture of the food. Okay, enough, enough about food, it's getting weird. Um, it's gonna improve the overall profile here, right? So this is personal preference. You can send it up, you can send it down, doesn't matter. These are 500 through 2K. This is more your in-game environment. So 
anything that's not the directional gunshots, um, grenade tosses, um, just sniper bah, smacks, these, uh, these in-game cues. These, I'm not going to say these frequencies aren't important, because they certainly are, but I'll put it this way. You could turn these down to base level mid right here, along with 16k, and you'd still get the majority of the cues that you would need to play Warzone or any, any shooter. Uh, it's just not going to be that great, because... These in-game cues oftentimes bounce around and off of the other frequencies to give you that overall profile where it sounds good enough and you can distinguish directionally, left, right, down, up, where they're coming from. Because it's normally not just one enemy you're encountering, it's multiple, right? You need to be able to hear all of these frequencies and directional cues in conjunction with each other. So... If you are, let's say, running a higher base headset, such as the um, Steel Series Arctis Pro, the Alienware 988, um, these are, are great headsets because they have larger drivers within them. Um, oftentimes, it's not even necessarily like a, a 40 millimeter or 50 millimeter driver in a headset that's important. It's its base response. So. If it doesn't have the base response for it, then just disregard the past 30-second th ramble I did. Um, just so we can have a bit more frame for reference here, I'm also going to use Steel Series. So this application, they've done some some real work to it, and they've they've been using this uh, sonar uh, development. It's it's kind of ground groundbreaking. I'll, I'll put it that way. But mainly, what we're going to do is use it here for a visual display of what I'm talking about in terms of footsteps. It's in development, so it's not perfect. We'll give it some grace because these frequencies, especially since it gives us straight up profiles for a lot of games, but the frequency profile for Warzone is not correct. It is not 100 to 500. Like I said prior, it's about 1 to 350 around this range here. Up here, it is roughly 4K to 8K that matters, right? It's not all the way here within this like 12K looking range. That's just that's just not typically what people are looking to adjust for in-game cues, especially when it comes to directional fire, footsteps. If you're um, on either a low or high boost, it doesn't matter. Because once you get into 10 to 12K, it's it's kind of like a gray area. You can have it disappear, and it wouldn't sound as good, yes, but it's it's not crucial. Um, anyway, like I said, this is uh, kind of like a, think of an in vitro study. It's in development, and it's got a lot of good options. You got your traditional 7.1. I wouldn't recommend it competitively, ever. But you got base boost, treble boost, smart volume, general gain, all this good stuff. And if you guys want to end up the overview on sonar, just let me know. I'll make a video for this as well. But while I'm at it, kind of covering these other applications, we'll go into Alienware Command Center. Now, keep in mind, Command Center is only going to be available for um, Dell PCs and even more specifically Dell Alienware. Sometimes it does work on systems such as the G5 and other gaming desktops like laptops that they have. But I keep getting distracted. Um, you've got your traditional equalizer here, but that's not the most important. It's a sound panel here. Let me rephrase that. Equalizer is important, but the sound panel is the icing on the cake. This is personally what I use, just simply because you have the bass boost, you have a dial, treble enhancer, voice clarity, reverb, smart loudness, and all of these micro adjustments are not micro. That's the beauty. When you get into application like here, you, you can't really, you get to play with the decibel gain. That's it. And the smart volume, it's in development, we'll give it grace, but it's garbage. Here... This is already refined. They've they've had all this in development for the past few years, so it sounds great. 
Um, that's that's pretty much all I got though. Um, I hope this was helpful. I might have just kind of seemed like I was droning on, but I hope you guys stuck around long enough to kind of see what I'm getting at in terms of the applications and the consistencies between them, because you're still going to focus on a few main frequencies, right? Because if we're talking about footsteps, 125 to 250, 4 to 8, everything in between, in-game atmospheric cues. All the directional shots are going to be kind of um, within this, these frequencies, this area here. Um, 16K is, again, more atmospheric, more atmospheric. These just bounce off of each other, and they create a, uh, a, har a harmony within those frequencies. That's why it's always going to sound really crappy when you have um, some extreme settings or just simply not good. Anyway, if you guys have questions or concerns, um, maybe I wasn't clear on anything. If you'd like to see future videos, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any of those questions and do as much as I can in terms of clarifying because I, I do get onto some tangents and kind of lose my train of thought here and there. Anyway, I appreciate you all bearing with me for this past 11 minutes, and you all have a great night. God bless.